Fans are saying enough is enough after Zac Efron's virtual Earth Day appearance went viral for all the wrong reasons. His almost 50 million Instagram followers don't even seem to recognize him. There's no denying that Zac doesn't look the same as he did in his hairspray days. Does anyone look the same after 10 years? But his jaw and lips are now the focus of thousands of tweets making unflattering comparisons between his new face and the weekends in The Savior Tears or Human Trek. Nobody knows why Zac looks so different now than he did before. Best guesses include those fans who recall how he broke his jaw in the past and might be recovering from reconstructive surgery. To me, his face looks swollen, medication and necessary surgery can cause that. People need to chill out, reads one popular tweet. He broke his jaw and also aged over the last 10 years. Broke my jaw two years ago and still working on healing. The actor's new look has fans concerned about Zach's history with body dysmorphia. On his nature documentary series Down to Earth, Zach shared his struggles while almost crying over a bowl of pasta, saying, I went years without eating carbs. When I shot Baywatch, I didn't have a carb for six months. I almost lost my mind. You need this. I don't think I could do that. He spoke more on the topic in a recent Hot Ones interview. That was actually a really important time to do Baywatch because I realized that like when I was done with that movie, I don't ever want to be in that good a shape again. <laughs> Really? It's like- It was so hard. You've got things like water under your skin you're worrying about, making your six pack into a four pack, sh like that. It's just not, it's just stupid. Hey guys, it's Karen. Welcome back to Before and After. In this video, we're gonna be breaking down Zac Efron's physical transformation over the years from Boy Next Door to Hollywood Hunk, and also detail some of the changes he has made over the years to bulk up for Baywatch, and even a stint in rehab, which has allowed him to kick drugs and alcohol for good. We have dropped a few other videos in this series, including a recent drop on Elliot Page. As always, be sure to let us know who's next and I'll see you guys after the intro. Zac Efron was born in San Luis Obispo, California, and later moved to Arroyo Grande, California. His father, David Efron, is an electrical engineer and a power station, and his mother, Starla Basket, is an administrative assistant who works at the same power plant. Efron has a brother, Dylan, and had, as he described, a normal childhood in a middle-class family. He began acting in the early 2000s with guest roles on several television series, including Firefly, ER, and The Guardian. In 2004, he began appearing as a recurring character in the first season of the WB series Summerland. For the show's second season, which aired in 2005, he was promoted to the main cast. He also appeared in some films, including the Lifetime television film Miracle Run in 2004, for which he earned a Young Artist nomination for his performance as one of two autistic twins. His big break came in 2006 when he was cast in High School Musical as the male lead Troy Bolton for the Disney Channel, which gave us High School Musical 2 and 3 and the standalone film film Hairspray, which was actually filmed here in Toronto. During these years, he was your typical boy next door with a legion of young female fans. Apparently on the set of Hairspray, Amanda Bynes demanded that the two hook up, but Zach wanted none of it. It turns out Zach wanted to reject his teen idol image after the first High School Musical film. The second we finished the first one, he told Men's Journal in 2016 of High School Musical, I was like 17, and I said, guys, you know, this is not all what I want to do. Efron was unhappy that he had become a teen idol and was determined to shed that image after appearing in the first film of the hit franchise. I step back and look at myself and I still want to kick that guy's sometimes. The 17 again actor continued, like F that guy, he's done some kind of cool things with some cool people. He did that one thing, Neighbors, that was funny. But I mean, he's still just that effing kid from High School Musical. The 2010s brought us a more mature and refined Zac Efron. Following his Disney success, Efron starred in the 2009 comedy 17 Again. Efron's performance in 17 Again earned him a Teen Choice Award for Choice Comedy Actor and proved to audiences that he was capable of being a leading man in a non-musical movie. After the success of 17 Again, Efron tried to make his way into the festival circuit by taking on more serious acting roles in a range of dramas. The 2012 film Paperboy first premiered at the Cannes Film Festival. Unfortunately, the film turned out to be a critical and commercial flop that reportedly didn't even clear $1 million at its opening. In 2012, Efron also dabbled in animated films for the first time, voicing a lead character in Dr. Seuss's The Lorax. The playful flick reportedly brought in an impressive 
negative $70 million during its opening weekend alone. In 2013, Efron went to rehab for alcohol and drug addiction, something he has opened up about many times since. Shortly after his stint in rehab, the actor told the Today Show in 2014 that he's in the best place he's ever been. I was drinking a lot way too much, he told The Hollywood Reporter in 2014, reflecting on his time prior to entering rehab. It's never one specific thing, I mean you're in your 20s, single, going through life in Hollywood, you know, everything is thrown at you. Efron also explained that battling an addiction is a never ending struggle. He told the publication he had also joined Alcoholics Anonymous and began seeking a therapist, which changed his life. Efron made a comeback with the 2014 buddy comedy That Awkward Moment, and it was during these years that he truly began to transform his appearance. He portrayed the cocky fraternity president Teddy Sanders in the comedy Neighbors. The neighbors marked Efron's transformation from a wholesome teen idol to a mainstream superstar. Both critics and audiences more or less enjoyed the film and Efron's performance in it. With the star being in the best shape than ever before, he couldn't resist showing off his chiseled abs and biceps on the 2014 MTV Movie Awards stage. It was for his role in Baywatch that he really bulked up while dropping his body fat percentage to just 5 to get into the best shape of his life, he trained for 5 or 6 days a week, often twice a day, mixing balance and agility, strength and endurance training, plus swimming and sprinting and hiking. He was also on a super strict diet, but the hard work paid off as the 5 foot 9 actor was able to hold his own while doing scenes alongside The Rock. Most recently, his appearance on a live stream had people speculating if he had gotten any work done to his face, something the actor has denied. More recently, he's been filming a travel show for Netflix and he's also got a YouTube channel where he goes to the gym with other actors and creators like the boys from Dude Perfect. One of the best things I think you can do is take a step back and learn from people that do it better than you and do it different than you. What do you think about Zach's new look? Do you think he got any work done? Or are people not used to seeing this once upon a time pretty boy turn into a man over the years? Well, we think he looks great and is a strong role model for anyone who wants to turn their life around and get into killer shape. My name is Kara the Vampire Slayer and that wraps it up for this before before and after. After talking about Zach over the years, what did you guys think? Be sure to drop me a comment down below so we can discuss and tell me who else we should do a before and after video on. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram and I will see you all in the next video. Bye!